Okay, done. So, Mia. Okay. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all the respected dignitaries, distinguished speakers, honorable participants, and the loving audience present here from all around the globe. My name is Samia Parihar, I'm from UAE, and I'm pleased to be the moderator of this event. It is my honor and my pleasure to open the online event series, Education is My Country. It is a new initiative of Worldwide Green Project by Mr. Ankush Kavande. This is our third episode. You know that education is an important tool, which is very useful in everybody's life. Education is what differentiates us from other living beings on Earth. It makes man the smartest creature on Earth. It empowers humans and gets them ready to face challenges of life efficiently. With that being said, education still remains a luxury and not a necessity in our countries. Educational awareness needs to be spread through the country to make education accessible. But this remains incomplete without first realizing and analyzing the importance of education. Only when the people realize what significance it holds, then only they can consider it a necessity for good life. In this event on education, we will see the importance of education and how it is a doorway to success. That is why Worldwide Green Projects invite you to join us and learn about the new education design in each country. For that, I would like to invite our founder, Mr. Ankush Gavande, who is the think tank member of the government of Maharashtra, India, and global educator, innovative teacher, author, YouTuber, app builder, and has won many international and, and international awards. Welcome, sir. Thank you so much, Samya. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Ankush Gavande, founder of Worldwide Green Project, uh, India. Today, we are going to learn about education policy, activities, uh, curriculum, and ETC related uh, education in the country of Palestine. In the third session, under the biggest live event series organized by Worldwide Green Project, Education in My Country. And all these, uh, Miss Shokia and her student will elaborate. In last two episodes, we learned uh, education in Armenia and uh, Italy. And this is our third episode about uh, education policy in Palestine. Worldwide Green Project is our uh, international project in which teachers and students uh, around the world from more than 45 countries uh, already join us. We have a country coordinator in each country and our uh, co-founder is Corina Susta from Romania. The main objective of this project is to create awareness among teachers and students globally about environment protection and tree plantation. And along with this, we also organize many innovative uh, global events, activities, competitions for much teachers and uh, students. Uh, teachers and students from any country, any school in the world can join us uh, in this project. Uh, for details, uh, information about this project, you can visit our official website, uh, www.worldwidegreenproject.wordpress.com. Then we have our Worldwide Green Project Facebook page, Facebook group also. So a warm welcome to all the teachers, students of the world who are joining the live event here. And I would like to mention here during the live event, a link will be given in the comment box of YouTube. If you fill it, you will receive a certificate of this event on email. In this series, there will be more programs about education and education system in different countries. So stay tuned with us and avail new programs that do completely free. So thank you so much. Thank you so much, Shakia. So go ahead and uh, let's learn how is the education in Palestine, how is the activities, how is the classroom, how is the many more about education in Palestine. So thank you so much once again. Over to you, Somya. Thank you so much, sir, for your lovely introduction. Alfando Kimia Secondary Girls School is an amazing school in Palestine. Today, I am pleased to invite as a special guest, Shokia Hawari, 
who is a Vocalit member, leader, and ambassador, a trainer, and certified educator. She is also the educator in quizzes, Kahoot, Bansi, T4, Olympia, and Olympia ambassador. And also her team of students that are joining us today, which are Ranis, Ranim Basam, Bailson Youssef, Iklis Mustafa, and Sarah Samir, and Aksan. Aksan. Yeah. No. So, yes. Thank you. So, all of you, you're welcome here. Please tell us more about the topic and the education in your country. Ms. Shakia, the stage is yours. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, let's first share the screen. Yes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you. Nice to meet you. Sorry. Nice to meet you here. Thanks, Mr. Ankos. Thank, thanks, Ms. Corina. Thanks, Ms. Sumeya, for uh, inviting me to this session, which is the third session about mm -hmm. education in different countries. Uh, here, I am Shaukiya Hawara from Palestine. Of course, I am the ambassador and the coordinator for this initiative, which is called the Worldwide Green Project. And thanks God, I am working with some uh, such uh, creative and distinctive educators from all over the world. Thanks another time for inviting me with my students here today to talk about uh, um, an important topic, which is education in my country, which is Palestine. Thanks another time and welcome all attendees from all over the world. Let's, uh, can you see my screen, please? Is it visible, Ms. Sumaya? Yes, ma'am, it is. Yes, it is. thank you. Now, uh, of course, I have many objectives today. Uh, the first one, who am I? Then I will talk a short uh, introduction about my country, Palestine, which is a, ho a holy land for all the religions all over the world. And let's also talk about uh, my school, then about the education in my country, Palestine, which is the main topic here here today. Then I will show you some of our activities. And uh, finally, we will introduce my uh, creative students who come today to share their experiences with you. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, I am uh, an MIE expert uh, for, uh, and I have ME Engle in English, uh, for example. And those are some of the badges and initiatives, uh, certificates that I got globally and locally. And this is due and thanks to God. Uh, of course, I, uh, as Ms. Sumeya mentioned, I have some uh, uh, achievements, like, for example, winning the second place in the presidency creativity. Uh, and also, I am a Wicklet member, leader, ambassador, trainer, and certified educator. I am an ambassador for many global uh, applications, like, for example, Quizzes, Kahoot, Pan City for Olympia, and also. Uh, many others and many other achievements. I will not waste your time in telling you about my achievements. Uh, thanks uh, for inviting me another time. Uh, let's talk uh, about my country, Palestine. Uh, of course, many heard about this global and this small country, Palestine. But unfortunately, many may uh, didn't hear about my homeland, my holy land, my a distinctive land which is called Palestine. Palestine is an Arab country. It is a small country. It is located in Asia and it has a, a small amount of population. Nevertheless, it has a great culture, history, uh, etc. And as you know, the history of Palestine has been marked by many political conflict. As you know, we are under occupation. Unfortunately, we are suffering a lot. Uh, not only uh, as a parent, as a human beings in general, but also as uh, students, as teachers, as many employees in all the different parts of Palestine because of the, the occupation. Uh, 
and it is uh, very important uh, because it has a valuable geographical uh, side as it uh, lies at the crossroads between Africa and Asia. And because of this reason, many, uh, um, many nations it tried to occupy it. And finally, we fell under uh, the severe conflict of the Israeli occupation, and I ask our God to free us as, uh, us as soon as possible. As I said, Palestine is a small region uh, of land and has played at the prominent role of in the ancient and modern history in the Middle East. And also the Palestinian people are very strong uh, in their desire to create a free and independent state. Although they are occupied nation, but still they are, uh, or they have a great history, great civilization, great culture, culture, great relationships, and of course, a great role in education as we will see later. Uh, this is uh, my school. This is a small photo of my school. My school is called Al Fandakomia Secondary Girls School. It is just for girls, uh, and uh, it is uh, in Jenin district in Palestine. It is a small. It is located in a small, nice, and amazing village. As I said, it is called Al Fandakomia. Al Fandakomia is although it is a small village, but it has a very beautiful scene as it is located uh, in uh, up the hills uh, and it has nice scenes. And also it, uh, my school consists of about 20 classes and it, uh, it begins from the first grade to the 12th grade. It means that we have different levels of students at the same school and this causes uh, uh, in reality a lot of uh, problems for us as teachers and for other students because you know they have uh, different uh, ages and of course they didn't have the uh, adequate space for them for example to play to learn uh, freely and uh, we are about to move to another new school inshallah next year my school also has about 35 employees a headmistress of course she is a new one and the head teacher the secretary two employees for the school uh, care and about 30 teachers of different specialization uh, in English, math, science, etc. Uh, my school uh, always cares about different aspects of students, not only academic, academic ones, but also they care about them socially, spiritually, etc. They, for example, um, uh, compete in many competitions, either in sports, in Arabic, in religion, in English, uh, in uh, Palestinian culture, for example, and also they encourage students to develop themselves always, uh, for example, by uh, competing in these competitions, by uh, uh, developing themselves, uh, by many other activities. Those are some photos I want to show uh, you that we care as a school, we care a lot about these aspects. For, the, uh, for example, this is a photo of my students uh, who cared a lot about environment. You know, environment has a, a good and a great relationship with education because uh, from the uh, sustainable uh, uh, aims or objectives, one of them is uh, the good learning, the good teaching also. If we don't have good and safe environment, we will not have good education. So what is our role as educators? It is to encourage these students to care more about their environment, to live safely, freely, and in a clean way. Uh, here are some of activities which we did voluntary with our students in order to encourage them to keep their uh, classes, their school uh, as clean as possible. 
uh, as you see here, I will let you with some of these photos. And also they uh, uh, created some nice uh, 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 notes. Uh, for example, here these notes encourage them to keep their environment as a mirror for their uh, big up at home because if she uh, cares about this if the students cares about uh, her uh, cleanness at home it will be reflected in their or at their school and behind them this is my school as you see uh, it is for the secondary uh, students okay those are some of other uh, activities also Yes, this is the play yard of my school. Unfortunately, it comes as this, but it is very beautiful, uh, as you see. Also, these are some of the curators of our uh, uh, class, uh, of our school. And uh, in front of you, you can see the headmistress office. And those are some of the classes for our students. Also, this is another photo of my beautiful sc school. Yes, as you see here, the hill is behind my school in spring. I invite you to, uh, to visit uh, our school in spring. You will uh, uh, feel uh, in a very perfect way. It is very beautiful. It has uh, um, a very colorful flowers, uh, a grass, uh, and very amazing and distinctive scenes, as you see. Okay. This is also another scene of my school. Those are some of the students. Uh, they, they participated in the voluntary uh, work in order uh, to make their environment, as I said, uh, clean. Yes, uh, also here they wrote some expressions like uh, cleanness is from faith in uh, our religion, Islam. Always it encourages us to keep our environment safe. Yes, and um, then uh, those are uh, my students who will participate with me to uh, to talk more about uh, these aspects. Uh, for example, Ikhlas will talk about historical places in Palestine as uh, projects. We told uh, them about them as uh, an MIE English ex uh, expert and teacher. I will always encourage my students to make uh, projects uh, uh, to talk about them, which are uh, considered very very important topics in our curricula. Also, Palsam Youssef will uh, talk about more about uh, these places and what is the relationship between these historical places and our curricula. Then Sara Saeed from the ninth grade uh, uh, will tell you about some important topic which we are suffering from, which is altering our curricula. As uh, I said at uh, the previous um, uh, slide, uh, we are an occupied country and we uh, have a curricula, but unfortunately for some parts in Palestine, especially in Jerusalem, which is our uh, capital, uh, the occupiers uh, try to alter our curricula. So, so uh, Sarah Saeed will uh, show you a short video about this topic. Then Aghsan Rabah from the 10th grade also will continue with the same topic. And she uh, had uh, a slogan said, no to altering Palestinians' curricula because it is uh, it talks about culture, about about our civiliz civilization, about our education, about our heritage, which we are very proud of. Then finally, we will uh, talk uh, with Ranim Bassam from the ninth grade, who is an ambassador for this initiative, which is called the Worldwide Green Project as a student, me, I am the, the ambassador for this initiative, and Ranim Bassam is the ambassador as a student for the same initiative. She will talk more about education and the relationship with environment in her video. 
Now, if you ask me what is education, because I always uh, I began my topic with education, education, education uh, leads, as you know, to the enlightenment of man mankind. Be, uh, uh, without education, uh, societies will not be grown. Uh, societies will be uh, lazy, will be uh, not active, will uh, be uh, uh, or will not lead the other society. Is. Uh, there is another uh, saying by Imam Ghazali. He said uh, he is a very known and a famous uh, one here in our culture. Uh, he is called Al Imam Al Ghazali. What does he say? Uh, he said that the education is a process which enable an individual dis to distinguish between the true and false, the good and bad the right conduct and the evil doing because if you are not an educated person you will not uh, differentiate between the good deeds or the right ones yes but what are the purposes of education if we come to purposes of education there are numerous there are numerous purposes and objectives of education. When we want to educate our students, our children, our leaders of the societies, we want to have intellectual development of uh, cultivation of mental facilities, also the self-realization, self-knowing, self-understanding, and self-explorations. Then another objective and purpose is worship is an important value which brings men close to God. So education helps in doing this. Also, a character is a very, sorry, I will remove it. Character is a very or a value for both individual collective importance, which is necessary for a just peaceful society. What I mean by that, it means I want to develop my, my students' characters, for example, by teaching them, by educating them well. Also, uh, beauty, enjoyment, appreciation, promotion, creation of beauty in nature. These are created by education. And that is knowledge and the skill, which are very important for maintaining life, economic mm. prosperity, social uplift, and political stability. Another one is value inculcation, which is another main purpose according to the, this physical, intellectual, moral, spiritual, economic, social, and political value. So we as educators should concentrate and focus on these values in order to bring up our students physically, intellectually, morally, spiritually, economically, socially, and politically inshallah yes now let's come uh, to uh, talk about education in palestine in details uh, uh, if you want to ask about the literacy rates in palestine it is extremely high or they are extremely high even when compared to developed countries although we are a small country we are an occupied country but nevertheless we are or we always insist on educating ourselves educating our students our children because we think and believe greatly that education builds societies and also according to the most recent data published in 2014 palestine has look here at the percentage of the literacy rate in palestine it had a 96 0.3% and it is a very high percentage as you know it means that although may, may be a poor, a poor country a small country but we are rich in heritage as I, I said uh, rich in culture in civilization in education uh, uh, some families despite their poverty they insist on educating their uh, uh, their daughters and sons because they believe that education is the key and this this is the weapon for them in their life 
The United Nations Relief and Works Agency, UNRWA here, is very famous here in uh, Palestine. And unfortunately, we are divided into the West Bank and Gaza Strip and Jerusalem. But nevertheless, we feel that as, as if we are uh, uh, one unit, not as if we are one unit, because when someone uh, suffers uh, in Gaza, we suffer a lot. When someone suffers in Jerusalem, we suffer also uh, uh, as him greatly. Uh, Norwa is working to improve education within the West Bank and Gaza Strip. While the West Bank offers adequate primary education, in, on, the UNRWA is working to improve secondary education. It means UNRWA focuses maybe on the, the primary education, but uh, it tries to improve also the secondary ones. Uh, I will not talk more about uh, these things. Uh, now let's come to complete about our Ministry of Education in Palestine. It oversees the general education in government schools, refugee relief agency schools, and the private schools. Always they encourage us to uh, care more about our students' development and the growth in their education. And they always say that we should uh, urge them not to be um, uh, late, for example, in education in order to uh, be a very developed country. The ministry also oversees higher education and Palestinian colleges and universities, not only in schools, but also in colleges, in uh, also in universities, despite the fact that some areas in here in Palestine are suffering also because uh, the occupiers or the Israeli government didn't uh, let them, uh, for example, build the schools or uh, uh, trans uh, uh, use transport freely or to move from one area to another area freely. I know many schools or many teachers who suffer a lot every day. Every day they have to uh, go through checkpoints, the many checkpoints that are spread all over the roads in our cities. But despite that, they insist on joining their schools in order to have education. Now, let's come to the stages of the educational process. As I said, my school consists of uh, many school, many classes, sorry, from it begins from the first till the 12th grade. Here, there are some stages of the educational process in general. Uh, the first stage is called here uh, Gindergarten, uh, which is the preschool period, and it includes the children from four years to five years and five months. Then phase two comes the general education, which, which includes the basic education, which is compulsory here in Palestine. They begin the first grade at the six uh, year age, not for example, like uh, Britain. Britain, they begin uh, the first grade at five age. But here in Palestine, at the six age, they enter the first uh, grade, which is compulsory for the whole primary education then uh, it is till the 10th grade then comes the stage uh, which begins with the entry of the students for the basic first grade at the age as i said of the five years and six months and uh, till the sixth grade and last for 10 years till the 10th grade means that is until the end of the basic 10th grade okay those are some of the uh, uh, students in the primary schools. Yes, they uh, are doing uh, different activities, either in arts uh, classes, in uh, Arabic, English, etc. Unfortunately, they see some are not clear. A look at them here. Uh, we teach them some morals. As you know, there are many 20, uh, 21 uh, century skills. One of them, the digital literacy, which means that we should concentrate on the duties, for example, of uh, us uh, according to the rights and the duties, not only the duties, the rights and the duties. So here we should, for example, 
example, uh, follow uh, uh, some rules, uh, for example, while uh, walking and coming to school, because as I said, uh, many come to school on foot, not uh, all of them use uh, cars, for example. So they should be uh, careful. Here uh, in some uh, classes uh, inside uh, the school, here in the arts, uh, in, uh, sorry, in the Arabic uh, classes, as you see here, they work in groups, okay? Uh, here, uh, for example, uh, when we have some uh, uh, additional classes uh, for me, for example, when I go to other classes that I don't teach them, I will, I always insist to teach them some morals, some uh, rules, uh, some uh, good things in order to follow. For example, this is in Arabic says, uh, uh, towards uh, uh, clean Palestine uh, for the first grade. I taught them about the morals and how uh, we should follow them in order to have a uh, good Palestine, green Palestine, clean Palestine, for example. Also, I taught them about my flag, which is um, the Palestinian flag. And I taught them what are the colors, which are black, white, green, and red. And we said about them, their symbols, Okay, the, uh, those are some of the students after they, uh, uh, for example, painted their flags and they were very proud of themselves as you see them. They are so glad that they uh, paint, uh, they uh, drew their flags and painted and drew some nice expressions. Okay. Those are some of the other photos. Also, I use uh, some uh, digital uh, uh, resources, for example, a song for uh, cleanness. You see them, how they are proud of themselves. Now uh, we come to the secondary education, which begins in the first secondary to the second secondary, at, and it includes academic secondary education. Uh, the sections include scientific and lit literacy, literary humanities. It means uh, when they join the academic, when they uh, finish the 10th grade, we ask them what will or in which route will you join or will you go? Uh, some, for example, will join the academic route. Some will join the vocational ones. Uh, the academic route includes scientific and literacy. It means they begin in, in it in the first secondary and the second secondary classes. Then to uh, two years duration, students are here for the general secondary examination. Those who pass the stage su successfully can enroll in the universities, which is called here Taujihi. Taujihi is the other name for the second secondary class. When they uh, uh, join this stage, they will have a ministry exam then if they pass it if they pass it they can join the university or the college that they wish then there is another phase which is the vocational secondary education it is a two-year duration and divided into five branches what are these branches some will join the industrial the other one commercial agriculture nursing and hotel Students here, uh, uh, for secondary examination also, vocational guidance, they will, uh, for example, bring some experts in vocational uh, topics and they uh, encourage them, they talk uh, more about uh, these uh, branches, uh, how will they join, what are the importance, uh, uh, what are the opportunities that are open for them in the future, and many other things. Uh, the duration of our academic year here in Palestine, it begins uh, as usual in August. Uh, some years uh, began, it began uh, in September, but uh, nowadays it begins in August of the solar uh, year and ends in June of the following year, uh, solar uh, year. That is the duration of our school year. It means that is nine months. Uh, two semesters, of course, the first semester and the second semester. Yes, now I will talk uh, about my school and education. Uh, 
uh, uh, here we have uh, uh, many pages uh, for our school in order to talk about some activities but for the sake of time I will not open it it is uh, here a link uh, it is about my uh, page of our activities in English as an English teacher in order to encourage our students for example I use with them the flip the class the room I sent them to them some videos in order to watch then we can come to uh, the other class discuss the uh, uh, the uh, things that they learned from these videos or these work papers and then we can uh, uh, continue with our uh, lessons yes those are some of our activities in English lessons here uh, after dividing after uh, explaining the vocabulary for example well, we play many uh, games in order to concentrate on the meanings, the opposites, the parts of its speech, etc. And also, sometimes we play the clapping story for the vocabulary. Sometimes we uh, play the memory game in order to check if they memorize them in order to concentrate in their uh, understanding and to develop them. Yes, now uh, I want to uh, open this one to show some of our school activities before a few years. I hope that it will open. It is about kofiya. You know, kofiya is a very special thing in our Palestinian culture. So always we concentrate on this uh, thing in order to encourage our uh, uh, generation to uh, uh, develop these things inside themselves. Let's listen. Sorry for the Thanks for so this is some of our activities in order to encourage and to concentrate on uh, uh, our morals, our culture, our uh, Palestinian heritage also. Uh, those are some of my activities in uh, on my uh, English page, which is called We Are the Initiatives Towards uh, the Peak. As you see here, sometimes I send them some uh, quizzes on Kahoot, Bansi, quizzes, uh, word war. Uh, uh, Sway uh, and many others also Lenyot. Uh, I encourage always uh, my students to uh, read uh, some topics according to some religious and national uh, anniversaries and always also I, I all or I sometimes uh, participate as myself here uh, this is me in front of the whole school I participated in uh, for example reciting uh, poetry uh, reading some uh, uh, national topics according to the uh, those are some of my uh, initiatives yes there which is Isa yes sorry for not uh, because of the weakness of the internet. Those are also some of our uh, activities inside the classes using uh, uh, technology in order to uh, encourage students to memorize, for example, some skills. Here also uh, learning by drawing is a very important topic in order to uh, uh, stimulate uh, our students to memorize them well. Yes.
parts also another uh, another distinctive way on in using these things in order to develop this uh, scale you see this matching for example here also i asked them to write uh, the names of uh, uh, jerusalem gates uh, on our uh, classes because i want them to celebrate them proudly you see here also other activities Here also by acting, by pointing, when they draw for about the parts of the body, for example, the elbow, the shoulder, the knee. I asked my the first uh, secondary uh, girls or students to point on the thing that they hear. For example, when I say uh, knee, they will show their knee, uh, shoulder, etc. Yes, also I use some educational aids in order to facilitate the educational process. For example, these are some of the brochures about some important places uh, in the world and also another aid here uh, for uh, vocabulary. Yes, about great leaders. This is a lesson uh, in the ninth grade. I asked some students to prepare uh, a wall picture about these leaders. Uh, also another uh, game uh, by uh, or about parts of speech. Here about parts of the house. Those are some of the educational uh, aids when, when I made them and also we bought them in a show and invited the students before a few years and many other guests, of course. Now we come to some obstacles that we have here inside uh, 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 our lovely and holy place, Palestine. Uh, since the beginning of the occupation, the Palestinian people in the area 48, we here have in Palestine, as, as I said, we are divided into many areas due to occupation. So one area is called the area of 48. Uh, it has been subjected to unaware policies which extended for the 1976 and then to the West Bank and the Gaza Strip. It means the whole Palestine are mm. suffering, is, uh, sorry, is suffering from the occupation. And the Palestinian education system has been the target of the occupation, destructive policies with the aim of achieving the following. The Palestinian uh, education system deviates from its objectives, which is to create a Palestinian personality no sorry sorry i will not talk about that because i talked about at the beginning uh, we are suffering some of the students uh, and teachers and other employees in all over the world uh, palestine sorry are suffering mm -hmm. a lot when they are moving from one place to a place to reach their schools mm -hmm. and they are uh, or they have a lot of problems some they uh, sometimes they prevent them or the uh, occupiers prevent them from reaching their uh, schools and this is uh, or this causes a lot of problems yes i will move because it takes time Yes, uh, the ongoing closure has had also greatest impact on the Palestinian people in many sectors and categories. For example, uh, in the educational uh, impact, as I said, social impact, psychological impact. Look here, uh, for example, a student with, who was uh, maybe in the third or the fourth grade, uh, once he was uh, returning or uh, while he was returning to his home, uh, the uh, okay, buyers uh, met him and he uh, fled from uh, them then uh, at that time he 
died because of fear. Look here, what is what a catastrophe here for our our young children when they go for for education for their school and they always on the checkpoints. Uh, even their books are uh, ser sought uh, about. Uh, they are prevented from reaching their schools sometimes. Also, uh, there is an economic impact, as I said. Yes, now um, I will let my students talk, but after, yes, sorry. Thanks for watching. Thanks another time for inviting me. And now I will let the floor for my active and distinctive students to talk more about these topics. Thank you another time. So sorry for taking maybe more time. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, and your students for such a beautiful presentation. It was good to learn about how education and the culture, how diverse di the diverse the culture of your country is. It was lovely to see. And now I would like to invite the co-founder of Worldwide Green Project for the closing remarks, Miss Corina. Welcome, ma'am. Uh, before uh, of closing remarks, I would like to ask uh, Sophia if there is a student who wants to express. Can they uh, open the microphone or? Do, yes. Uh... Okay, please. Yes, Ikhlas. Ikhlas. Are you here, Ikhlas? Please unmute yourself and talk Ikhlas. to us. Yes, Ikhlas. Yes, Ikhlas. Please open your mic and share the screen and begin your introducing yourself and then your video okay. yes the floor is yours now begin please yes Ikhlas is from 10th, uh, the ninth grade sorry then balsam from the 10th grade she will follow her Yes, here yes, the bottom uh, present present option there, Iklas. There are the uh, bottom. You can see there present option. Click there and show your uh, PPT or any videos if you want to share. Yes, Iklas. Yes, present. There is right present. To, yeah. Present. Right to click on the present. present. Yes, present option. Yeah. Press on the present uh, option. Press P of yes, new. Again. I'm Ikhlas Kuriari from Palestine, and my capital is Jerusalem. I'm 14 years old. I'm in the ninth grade. I welcome you, and I hope you are well. Today, I will, I will present to you a short video about the historical place in Palestine that our textbooks talk about. In each book, you will find a different picture and information about this. I hope you like the video. Enjoy. Let's go. A class, are you presenting? Shokia, you stop your screen sharing. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes, sorry. Yes, Ikhlas, you can now see your screen. Right. I press yes. on a present. Right. Yes. Yes. If you can't, I will for you. Yes, you will. I can. Please, um, can you present you? Yes, yes, I, I will, I will. This is why she will talk about the curricula and the historical places in them.
This is my village of Anglo Korea. It is in the city. Here is the Sivat Mark, which is one of the oldest markets in the city, with restricting stones and adorned of different designs, as it tells the stories of a whole life in it. These are pictures from the South of Chile, which has a special importance to the Palestinian people. And this is the old business. This is a city. These are pictures of the beautiful and what is very much for the drama and the silence. And one of the These are some of the pictures of the Palestinian books that talk greatly about history and place. Finally, these are some random pictures of history and Palestine. I hope you like it. Please pray for Palestine in relation. Thank you. Welcome. Very nice. Thank you. Very, very, nice. very nice. Very nice. Yes, you you are amazing, Ikhlas. An amazing student. Thank you. She uh, she uh, uh -huh. uh, wanted to, to shed light on uh, her curricula with the historical places because many uh, kinds or many topics uh, are talking about historical places. So thank you another time, Ikhlas. Now let's uh, welcome Balsam Youssef from the 10th grade. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Balsam Youssef Samih Shahade. Um, I am uh, 15 years old and I study at al Fandakomiya Secondary Girls School, which is located in Palestine and the capital of Palestine is Jerusalem. And now let me show you my presentation. Yes, share your screen or I will. Click on present option. Today we are talking about Sam, I will show it to you if yes. you have a problem. Yes. No, no you say it's, it's okay. It's okay. It's visible. Okay. Yes. Click Be click to play. And I click play. to play. So greetings to you, their guests. Today we are talking an exploratory tour of the religious and archaeological sites in Palestine, which are some of the many places in our school box. Let's start with the most important landmark, which are located in the heart of Palestine. Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Dome of the Rock are located in the capital Jerusalem. Al-Aqsa Mosque and the Honorable Dome are considered among the holiest religious places and Al-Aqsa Mosque was mentioned in the Holy Quran, specifically in Surah Al-Isra. According to what was found in history, it was built 40 years after the construction of the Kaaba, and it was named by this name because of its distance from the Grand Mosque.
Ibrahimi Mosque. This mosque is located in the city of Hebron and was named by this name because it houses the dome of our master Ibrahim. Peace be upon him. The Ibrahimi Mosque is surrounded by an old wall that was built about 2,000 years ago. Hisham's Palace Hisham's palace is located in the city of Jericho and was named by this name because the Umayyad Caliph Hisham Abdul Malik built it. In general, the meanings of innovative architecture are evident in every part of this palace as it's decorated with mosaics and eye-catching decorations. It also includes mosques and halls full of ancient columns. Church of the Nativity The Church of the Nativity was named by this name because it's the birth of Jesus. Peace be upon him. It was included by UNESCO in the last of war. He read outside and is located in Bethlehem. Baha'i Gardens and Shrine of the Bab The Baha'i Gardens are located in Haifa and it's one of the most beautiful gardens in the world. The Shrine of Ali Muhammad al-Shirazi is also located in the same city. At the end of my presentation, I hope you loved it. Greetings from me. I am Balsam Yusuf Samih Shahad. Very nice, very, very nice. nice. MashaAllah, great, great. You are very distinctive and great uh, students. Thank you. Shakya, if you have another any uh, videos of yes. students, you can share. Yeah. Yes, uh, Sarah. I think, Sarah, are yeah. you with us? Balsam, you can leave. Sarah. Yes. Sarah. Sarah, 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 yes. Sarah, begin. Uh -uh. My name is Saeed. I am from Palestine. Uh, today, I will I will present my project that takes about uh, Israel's attempt to me to measure present Palestine curriculum and blur and blur Palestine identity. Let's let's to see. The Palestinian Center for Human Rights, Rights CCHR, the Israeli position, was the distorted version of the official Palestinian curriculum. The Palestinian Ministry of Education denounced in a statement the fire campaign on the Palestinian position, a main distorted and obliterate the Palestinian, the Palestinian identity. identity. The ministry added that Israel works on anchoring the Palestinian school box and threatened the schools in occupied Jerusalem to repeal their licenses if the letter uh, do not comply with the altered version of the curriculum. Furthermore, the Israel Emirates a team to impose Israel edition programs on Jerusalem's schools on 42,000 students in 82 private schools in the city. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Sarah. Welcome. Sarah, you did a very good deed. Uh, despite the uh, fact that they are the first, this is the first time for them to 
participate in English. As you know, our native language is yeah. Arabic, and they were very afraid to participate either in Arabic conferences, but I encourage them. I uh, made uh, many tries for them uh, in order to encourage them, to stimulate them to be part of this conference in order to build their self-confidence. Thanks another time for all of you. Thank you. Yeah, they did yes. very nicely. Really. Great. Thank you. I think we have an, again two students. Uh, if, Hassan. Uh, Hassan, yeah. but uh, she had a uh, problem, so I will present her uh, a video. video. She uh, sent it to, uh, to me. Uh, yes. Uh, also, it is uh, as a uh, completion for Sarah's video and topic. Also, she uh, talks about uh, uh, alternation of our Palestinian curricula by the Israeli occupation and many Palestinian protests uh, uh, against this, uh, which is which was imposed uh, on uh, some schools in Jerusalem. So let's let's watch this video prepared by. Son, but from the tenth grade. <laughs> Thanks for watching. But let's move to the last one, the last speaker, who's uh, Ranim. Ranim, are you with us? No. Yes, Ranim. Yes, I will see. Yes, I will present her also. She is our ambassador in this initiative. Yes, great. So you can share her videos. Yes, I can. I can. Yes, for the sake of time. 
Raniem uh, here in her video, uh, as she is an ambassador for this initiative. Uh, she wait, wants wait, wait, to... wait, 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 she is here, she is, she is here, join. Yes, wait. great. Yes, Raniem, hi, how are you, Raniem? Peace be upon you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am the student Raniem Bassam from the ninth grade. I am from Palestine, I live in Jenin. And I am the ambassador of the of the project, uh, the World Wide uh, Wide Green Project. We will talk at the at the, this meeting about the role of the environment in education. And as the Ministry of Education, urges us to preserve the environment in order to achieve a good quality education. Let's watch the video. Yes, thank you. Good introduction, our ambassador. The environment is the center in which living organisms live and connect and care. Learning is the process of taking information, values, and knowledge through study. And now you will tell me what is the relation with the environment. In this video, we will answer this question. The school environment is one of the factors influencing the success of the education process for students. A stimulating and safe school environment supports the learning process. In addition, it achieves a quantum need in the student academic achievement. When the school plays its role in society, affects the students' sexuality and education. And here are some are solutions, solutions to solve, to solve the, the problems facing the education, education environment. environment. One, One is, is to reduce the number of students in school classes. Two, provide different teaching aids and teaching aids that will start with us. And I will ask to preserve the environment. And these are some pictures of the national and religious event events in the school. Thank you. The end. Thank you for watching. Very nice, very nice. Thank you so much. Is it done? We have another one. Thank. Or yes. It's over. Okay. Yes, Afsan. Now, which now she can join us. She are amazed. Uh, to be with us. She was very proud to be in this conference, but unfortunately at the beginning she was having a problem. Now she contacted us. Yes, Aksan, welcome. Thank you, Raneem. You did a very excellent job. Thank you. Aksan, go ahead. Thank you very much. Yes, Aksan. She left. Arsan, seems that she has a problem. No, no, she is That's... she is not here to to ask. Uh, yes. She is not here present to join. Yes, right. no problem. That's it. If you have video, you can share. 
I shared that. I, we finished. We finished sharing. This is the yeah, end. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You can share. This is last one. Yeah. This is last one. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Try to share video if you have. I think she she said the uh, the video before. Do you have another video, Sophia? No, 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 no. That's no. the end. Okay, so the okay. End. Okay. You mean here? Oh, Somia, Somia. 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 Are you here? Somia. Somia. Maybe. Yes, I'm um, here. It's done. I was yes, just done. Done. Invite. Invite. Put it on. Okay. Just a minute, okay? This is the. Oh, okay, okay, no. No problem. I was having some trouble trouble with my yeah. internet. That is why. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Take, take Am your I time. Take your time. Am I yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. So thank you. <laughs> thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Ms. Shakia, and your dear students for such a beautiful presentation. It was lovely and amazing to learn about your culture and how education is your is there in your country. And now I would like to invite the co-founder of World Wide Green Project, Ms. Corina, for the closing remarks. Please, ma'am, welcome. Uh, sorry, sorry, it seems that Afsan has joined. Uh, please let her talk because yes. she yes. was very proud to be here. Yes, Afsan, sure. open your mic. Afsan? Take a few minutes. Afsan? Afsan, open your mic. No, she has a trouble. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay, she uh, has a problem. Thank you, Sonia, for uh, introducing me. Uh, what to say today? We have uh, traveled to uh, Palestine, a very beautiful country with very beautiful people, as I can notice in this uh, uh, today's yes. show. Thank you, Sophia, for uh, for your presentation. And uh, you know what? I admire you all. I admire Thanks. your students. I can see there are some pictures who I can say helped me. Students and beside soldiers with arms, with guns. It's it's. I I cannot imagine what you live day by day there. But even so. I said I admire you because you make everything in order to continue education, to give wings to your students, to make them to, feel, to be confident and this is what really they need. This is what really education means actually. Not only knowledge from the books, not only Schools. knowledge from... Yes, uh, there is much more and for that I congratulate you and thank you your students as well because uh, i said uh, even in the chat box they surprised me today wonderful congratulations yes. once thank again you. we are thank blessed you. that you're joining us and we learn from you many things not only about the educational system in palestine thank you for this lesson life lesson thank, thank you, you. Thank you, thank you, Miss Corina. You are a very uh, admired uh, friend for me, of course, as you know, because I know you before a few years, but uh, nevertheless, you are still my friend. Uh, I think your words, your positive uh, words give uh, uh, me the positive energy in order to go ahead more and more in order to be with my students because they are uh, my real fortune, as you know. All was I want to uh, bring them uh, to make them leaders, the creative ones to lead the nations, not only, as you said, not only to to teach them exactly. uh, what is inside their box. No, it is to teach them practically how can we resist occupation by uh, being educated persons, uh, uh, by being um, uh, well uh, behaved, for example, etc. So always I encourage 
encourage them. I am uh, with my students, uh, not only inside uh, my school, but always I contact them outside school because I want my students to, to be as creative as possible in order to uh, be the leaders of this nation. Thank you another time for inviting me for this uh, distinguished conference, I uh, call it, because really it was amazing thing to uh, join us with my students, uh, me, First, me, I have self-confidence that I have bring, brought my students with me. Uh, also, they also have a strong confidence in themselves. Uh, and this is to stimulate them in order to participate in more conferences, not only in Arabic, but also in English. Thank you another time. Of course, they are very lucky to have a teacher, a leader like you. They are also yeah, really, really, really outstanding. Outstanding. All session is really outstanding. Uh, your presentation also very nice, and uh, we very happy. I think I hope our audience, our all students and teachers uh, around the globe, which are joined here, they also very happy, and uh, they get very uh, important knowledge or important uh, important things about education in uh, Palestine. And your student really appreciated. Uh, your student also very nice. They are showing their you. voice, their uh, videos very nicely. Uh, thank you so much thank to you. you, your students, and uh, uh, here present and uh, yes. uh, show I you. I hope that. Yeah, I hope that yeah. I gave you a, a, a clear glance of uh, our education system here in Palestine. Uh, I also shed some light on our suffering, but nevertheless, I, I didn't want to show you uh, that we are a suffering uh, nation. No, I want to show you that our suffering encourages us to go ahead, it stimulates us in order to be well-behaved, well-educated persons, not uh, to... Uh, have it as a problem although it is a problem but it is uh, as a stimulator for going uh, and for developing ourselves more and more thank you another time mr ankush uh, also i am uh, really pleased to be with you for uh, the similar few years and always i am very pleased and very proud of you and your initiatives thank you another time thank you thank you so much Thank, Thank you, you so Ms. Much. Sumia. Thank you, Ms. <laughs> Sumia. You are also, we don't forget you because you are a very distinctive presenter. You also show your interest in presenting and uh, following us and encouraging uh, us as speakers. Thank you another time. Also, we are so proud of you. Thank you. Yeah, we, we, all, we, yeah, we all proud of her. Yes, really. Thank you. Yes. Really. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Karina, ma'am, are you done with your remarks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, thank you, you ma'am, for your wonderful words and thank you to our guests. So, dear friends, with education, as you have learned, you can enhance your productivity and complete a task better in comparison to an educated person. However, one must always ensure that education solely does not ensure success. It is a doorway to success, which requires hard work, dedication, and more after which can you open it successfully. All of these things together will make you successful in life. In conclusion, education makes you a better person and teaches you various skills. It enhances your intellect and the ability to make rational decisions. It enhances the individual growth of a person. Education also improves the economic growth of a country. Above all, it aids in building a better society for the citizens of a country. It helps to destroy the darkness of ignorance and bring light to the world. And now, it is my privilege to give the vote of thanks. First of all, I would like to say thank you to the founder and co-founder of Worldwide Green Project for this wonderful initiative. We have learned a lot tonight, and this is the third episode, which, which has been really amazing. The last two episodes were good, and this one was also very good. And so there is no words to express my gratitude towards our special guest from Palestine, who have enriched our knowledge this night. Thank you so much. You, you are so amazing. Thank, thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you and have a nice night. Goodbye. Thank you. Yeah. Goodbye. Thank and you also so thanks much. to our attendees. Thanks for all yes, attendees so from much. all over the world who participated in this conference. Goodbye. Good night. Thank you. Thank you so much, all of you. Thank you so much, Shokia and Palestine, all students. Thank you. Thank you so much, Soumya. Thank you so much, Corinna. And thanks all the participants. And stay tuned with us in uh, with our uh, website, where our YouTube and our Facebook page. We will come with next our new country uh, for you few. So stay tuned, stay connect. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Salam alaikum. <laughs>